Hi there! Today I have a sweet jump blues style lick for you. In fact, it's more than a lick. It's a longer idea that's reusing some of the same elements and it's pretty sweet and it has some useful lines in it. So we're playing this in the key of A. I have a little drum loop here to play along to and this is what it sounds like. Pretty sweet, huh? So here is the whole idea played with the drums. So the way I view this type of idea is that it's centered around a triad. In this case, A major triad. If we look at this sound, this is in fact a major triad. So the first note here on the 11th fret on the D string, that is the major third of A. The next note is the fifth of A. And next note here is the root note A. So those three notes together they create an A major triad. And that major third is also available up here. Same note as this one. Okay, and then I'm also using this note quite a bit in this idea. So when you add this note in, this is the major sixth interval, you get that sixth sound. So I'm starting the lick with this little run which is very common in this style of music. It sounds cool when you swing it. So that is a hammer-on from the 10th fret to the 11th fret on the D string. Picking the first note and hammering on with my ring finger. Then I'm picking the next two notes, G string, 9th and 11th fret. And at this point, I'm using my index finger now on the 10th fret on the B string. I could use my ring finger, but right now I want to use my index finger, as we'll see in a second why. And I'm going back down to the 11th fret on the G string, middle finger, back up to the 10th fret B string with my index finger. And here's the reason why I'm using index finger this time, because I can now easier reach up here, because I'm next going up to the 14th fret on the B string and I'm doing a slide in from below. So we have... Okay. I want to have my index finger here at the end of this idea, just before I play. Otherwise it's hard to reach if you have your middle finger or your, or your ring finger to reach up to the 14th fret. It's just a logical move with your fingers. Okay, then we do the same thing almost again, except this time I'm doing this. Notice that I did not use my index finger for this note. That is because I don't, I'm not going up here, so I don't need to. I just keep using my middle finger for that note. And then I'm ending it with this note, the sixth again, the major sixth interval on the G string on the 11th fret. So that second part is and I do a slide down to get the cool sound. That's short like that. Okay, and then the third time, the beginning is the same again as the first time, except I have to remember to switch the index finger right away because I'm gonna do a, another stretch here with, with my pinky index finger down to 11th fret G string 
And now I'm doing this thing, which is the E string on the 14th fret, switching to B string on the 13th fret, and then down to B string on the 10th fret. So that part sounds like this. And then the last part is like this. So that finishes up the lick. And uh, I'm starting here now, 10th fret on the B string with my middle finger, switch into E string, 10th fret, and play twice and then up to then back to the ninth fret on the E string but, but I do a slide in with the index finger so we have now I'm going back 10th fret D string and then 11th fret G string 9th fret G string and ending it with which is the same notes as in the beginning there. I'm picking the notes on the 10th fret and hammering it on onto the 11th fret. Up to G string on the 9th fret and the 11th fret and ending the whole idea now on the 10th fret on the B string. So let's play the whole thing from the top at a slow tempo. One thing I want to add to this, when I'm playing this thing, I'm actually bending this note a little bit. 13th fret on the B string. It sounds cooler when you do that. It's really just a preference. If I don't bend it, it sounds like this. If I bend it, and you just bend it uh, just a slight little bit. That's all is needed. It adds a little pizzazz to the lick. Okay, now let's play it at full speed with the drums. <laughs> <laughs> 